just because you look in your brokerage account and you made some money, you had some good returns, doesn't mean you get to keep all those returns. That's why I'm gonna show you how to calculate your total real rate of return, which guides us to the actual performance in your portfolio. Let's get into it. That's your Taylor ProPath Financial. We're gonna talk about your real rate of return. I'm not gonna elaborate on this a lot. People invest their dollars. They say they get 12 or 15 or 20% return, but they don't think about taxes and they don't think about inflation. You can actually calculate taxes and inflation into your return to come up with a realistic rate of return. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. All right, there are three pieces of this. We need to know your nominal percentage, your tax percentage, and your inflation percentage. So let's just say you get 12%. That's your nominal return. You invest $100,000, it turns into $112,000. Let's say you sell after a year, so after 365 days, and it's a long-term gain. So that's 15%. I'm just using that generic number. I know there could be a Medicare surtax of 3.8%. Sometimes it could be lower. Even if you make a ton of money, it could be higher, but we're just gonna use 15% as this example. Let's say inflation is at 3%. I know everyone's going to say inflation is so high right now. Well, we're taking an average. Inflation has been very high for a very short period of time. So it's unrealistic to assume that inflation is going to last forever. So let's just use an average. Let's just say 3%. All right, now we got our three numbers. We're going to do step one. Step one is we're going to take our nominal percentage, 0.12, and we're going to multiply that by 1 minus 0.15 which is our tax rate, we're essentially just trying to find 85% of 12%. 85% of 12%. Just we're gonna multiply that by 100 to get a solid percentage. That comes out to be 0 0.102, which equals 10.2%. And do we know what this is? This is called our, that's our after-tax yield. So you think you made 12%. But if you sold at a long-term capital gain in a taxable brokerage account, you're going to have to pay some taxes. If you're at a 15% capital gains, long-term capital gains tax rate, your actual return is 10.2% because you got to take some of that money you got to send to the IRS. So that's step one. Step two is now calculating inflation because over the course of that year, the cost of goods increased. So now we need to deduct a little bit of inflation because we're again, we're finding our total real rate of return after taxes and inflation. So we're gonna take our after tax rate of return, which is 10.2%, and then we're gonna take our inflation, which is 3%. We're gonna turn those into decimals. So one plus 0 0.102 divided by one plus 0 0.03, which is essentially, if we're gonna order of operations mathematics, 1.102 divided by 1.03, one, 1.102 divided by 1.03. That equals 1.07, 1.07. And there are no more decimal places on my calculator. But to turn this into a percentage, we subtract one and then multiply it by 100. 1.07 minus one times 100. You can probably already guess the answer. This says 6.99%. That is the actual rate of return after inflation and after taxes on a 12% return on investment in any given year. This is something that you need to think in your mind when you're talking about returns or performance. How are you mitigating these extra type of bills as you move through the accumulation of assets? If you have more questions or you find something here where I was wrong, let me know. But I use this a lot with clients to help help them realize how to evaluate the actual return on investments. Thanks for watching.